We're pleased now to bring you one of the most remarkable stories in the entire history of sports. The journey of two sisters from Compton, California, who became known to the world on a first name basis. Here's a question I'm sure you've been asked more than once. What do you want to be when you grow up? Tennis player. I would like to be a tennis player. I've known Venus and Serena because they're Compton on Long Beach, so we're like next door. I met them when they were six and seven. They were at the World Team Tennis Clinic. When I saw them in the line, and Oracine stood next to them in the line so she could listen if I had something to say. She was always very alert with that. You know, she and Richard both would listen to people, and um, I had a great time with both of them. Good racket speed. Good racket speed. Man. Speed that racket head up. If you were a tennis player, who would you want to be like? Well, I like other people to be like me. I think what was revolutionary about Venus, from such a young age, her real attacking mindset and her beautiful lines and her long legs. She just used them to such great advantage. Serena competed with a kind of street fighting, unapologetic ferocity that I think women have always had. I remember when Serena won that first U.S. Open and she came to Good Morning America and her mother was there too. And I asked her, I said, so what was it like? Your daughter wins, but one daughter does not. So she said she was like running from sweet to sweet, celebrating one, consoling the other. But I loved how competitive they both wanted to win whenever they got out there on the court. Serena, well, I worked with her several times. The first time was for Gatorade and it was for a uh, commercial where she's performing but I've never seen anybody hit the ball like she hit. It's insane. I think she was the most impressive athlete I've ever worked with. Venus and Serena are amazing athletes and they will definitely go down in history as some of the best ever. I think that they have inspired so many people in general. And they are the epitome of power and grace. I think just in general, having leaders like Venus Williams, Serena Williams in our sport definitely makes you want to do better and makes you want to do better for the world. And I think having leaders like that is important because it made a difference in my life. I think the Venus and Serena story is the best in sports. You have Richard who says that they're both gonna be number one in the world, which they did, check. They're both gonna win majors many times over, check. And one fact I think that's overlooked is them playing finals of majors against each other so many times, vying for that number one ranking, this rivalry, and yet the family is so close. What these two superstars accomplished made them heroes to so many and greatly expanded tennis's global reach. Yes, this might well be the greatest story in sports history. For Tennis Channel, I'm Leslie Allen.